G'day YouTube, Max Wright here and some important price action today with Bitcoin. And you can see here we have broken through this important trend line, which I predicted and told you about yesterday. Let me know in the comments below if you got involved. Uh, and uh, also later on, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about whether or not it's a good time to be buying Bitcoin or not. And then later on, we're going to hear from Ark's Kathy Wood uh, to hear about her perspective on the market and whether it's a good time to buy or not. So let's get into it. Let's zoom in a little bit on the hourly, actually. We'll get in here. And so today's video is going to be all about the, uh, for the traders, all for the traders. Uh, well, that's not true. No, we'll be a little bit for the investors a little bit later on. So as you guys know, I mentioned in the video yesterday, there is this long term uh, trend line here on the hourly chart. I think there's about nine touches overall we counted yesterday. And I said, look out for when we break it um, because, uh, you know, usually you get a big green candle after that. Not always, but usually. Now, we haven't seen that yet, but it's early in the day. And I was talking about a daily candle, to be clear. So I wanted to let you know, guys know, I got in in the middle of this big green candle here. Uh, the price was just over 37000 Let's call it 37200 And then I set quite a, st uh, a steep stop loss. Sorry, quite a uh, short stop loss. Quite an aggressive stop loss. It was just at 36.3. Um so it was, uh, you know, the price that didn't have to go down much and I would be out because I do not want to be too exposed to losses at this time. You know, we are definitely in a downtrend. Uh, the bears have been in control and they've been, there's some signs of their weakening, but um, nonetheless, I want pretty minimal exposure. So I was waiting for a big green candle. I got in in the middle of that candle and set quite an aggressive stop loss at 36,300. Uh, I bought 10 Bitcoins, by the way, for what it's worth just here. So, um, so this is actually, I, I get a whole bunch of questions about people asking how stop losses work and whatever. So here's a little bit of a quiz for you. Let's just, let's say I bought at 37,300. I set my stop loss at 36,300. So $1,000 less. And I bought 10 Bitcoin. What is the maximum amount of loss I can suffer on this trade? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. So what we're seeing here is um, we're walking up the stairs as we go through this. Now, there's a couple of things that can happen here for sure. Um, even if this trade goes in my favor, we can come back down here, retest this line and bounce off. The problem is I'm going to get stopped out. If that comes down here, you, it confirms this line as support and bounces back off, I will probably get in again uh, around this region anyway. So I'm not too fussed about that outcome. If we lay down and just keep on going down, I'm glad I got out of it with my stop loss at 36.3, no problem. But if um, you know if this continues to, show, to, to, to push on, then this is gonna to prove to be a pretty good trade. Now I do wanna talk, there, there are some signs that the bears are weakening. And so let's go back, we'll talk about this fractal. If you recall, I compared this fractal to this one. We came down and as we broke the 200 day, uh, the 21 week moving average, uh, did we, we came, oh, well, actually we bounced off it. No, it was at 47,000. We, we broke through the 21 week moving average, went down with a massive wick, came back up, the bears and bulls wrestled, and then ultimately we lay down and the bears won. We came down and when we broke below the 200 day moving average, massive wick down, bounced back up, the bears and bulls have been fighting and it was looking like the bears were gonna win and we were gonna leg lower. But the bulls grabbed control just before we went below that low, right? Just before we went below this, this lower wick. And then we've come back up and come above this trend line. So that's now two arguments to suggest the bulls have exhausted the bears. Right, so it's another reason I'm excited to get in on this trade. Also, this blue line here for long-time subscribers of the channel, um, this is an indication, it's the last Friday of the month. It's when options and um, uh, futures expire, the, the large tranche of them anyway. Uh, and typically, it represents the low in the 30-day cycle. So we're going to go into the daily metrics here in a minute. So I needed to be on the daily chart anyway. So let's bring this in. 
you can see these vertical blue lines represent the last day, the last Friday of the month. And you can see, you know, within a day or two, it was the bottom of the 30 day cycle. Within a day or two, it was the bottom of the 30 day cycle. Within a day, within four days, it was the bottom of the 30 day cycle. We are now just four days away from it. And this could well be, you know, a representation that we're at the bottom of this 30 day cycle and we're gonna head back up. You'll note in the middle, in between the blue lines is usually the high, usually the high. So we will definitely be looking at, now that we're closer to this um, blue line, it makes me significantly happier and significantly more confident to get into a trade. It's a much more likely scenario that between now and sort of like seven days from now is we're gonna be putting in a low on the 30 day. So that one is good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the metrics. So this one, this is kind of like everything, everything, everything is just screaming Bitcoin is a great buy now. If you're not going to buy with leverage and you just want to just, you want to accumulate, all the metrics are screaming good, good buy. We've got the RSI way down here at 23. Let's have a look at it, actually. Actually, let's, we'll go, we'll expand them out for big historical perspective here. Where is it? It is down here at 23. And we've got to go, the last time it was at this level is all the way back here in March of 2020. What happened in March of 2020, that was the coronavirus collapse, the price of Bitcoin fell 50%. And just think about this, just you know, uh, 15 months ago, you could buy Bitcoin for a little over $3,000. And this RSI, this RSI, when it comes down, it represents that Bitcoin is massively oversold. Likewise, when it's up here, it says that Bitcoin is massively overbought. So we haven't been this oversold since Bitcoin bottomed out at $3,000 during the, the Corona um, collapse of March 2020. And we have never seen those prices ever again. Okay, we went down to 3,000, we rocketed up to 60 in almost a pretty straight line. And then we came back, to, we've come back down now to 30. And now we're seeing this RSI is basically as low as it was then. Huge, huge, huge buy signal. All right, let's come in on the, we'll expand out the money flow. Let's check this one out. Right now, we're all the way down here at eight. Now it was there uh, just 30 days ago, um, but prior to that, we have to go all the way back. That is even worse than the March 2020. We've got to go all the way back to December to November 2019 to find the last time the money flow was down this low. Similar kind of principle here. When it's down here below this purple band, it represents that Bitcoin is oversold. When it's up here, it represents Bitcoin is overbought. All right, let's jump in. I want to take, we'll jump down here to the MACD. This one, this is as low as MACD has ever been. MACD is at like minus 3,000. You look at this, I'm going back. It's just never been this low. Here is the 2017 peak overbought. This oscillator goes around zero, by the way. So there's zero. So it oscillates around zero. Uh, and we see, you know, down here, was it minus 1300? Over here, minus 900. We haven't seen MACD this low in a long, well, ever. We've never seen MACD this low. Again, indicating that it's overbought. Great time for buys. Uh, and next, which hasn't happened yet, but I, th I think it might happen a little bit later. So if we go, uh, so I'm talking about the hash ribbon. When it flashes this blue, you'll notice there's an obvious lead up, right? It paints a, uh, some light greens and then eventually a dark green, and then it turns, you get the blue buy signal. Now, usually if we, um, let me see how's the easiest way to get to it. Actually here is the March, 2020 low. And we saw the signal started, started building. And eventually it was like a, you know, a, a month later where we actually got the buy signal. But the price was up at $9,000 here. The price was down at $3,000 here. But nonetheless, if you waited for the buy signal, you were very happy because you got in at 9,000 and obviously we had a fantastic run. Now here, so I wouldn't be surprised if the buy signal doesn't get painted on for a little bit longer. You know, we could be up here somewhere, you know, almost back at $50,000 before we get this buy signal. But the fact that we're getting all of these little light greens here and now even dark greens, all of this is good signs that the buy signal is coming pretty soon for the hash ribbon um, indicator. 
So lots and lots of indicators and one more will go off chart for this. And I predicted this the other day, yesterday, we said we're extreme fear of 14. And I was like, I bet you tomorrow it's worse. And it is, we are down to 10. I'm not even sure. Let's go into the graph here. Let's go uh, max. Has it ever been to 10? It has. Okay, we, again, we gotta go back to March 2020 and it got down to what? Nine. Back here, what did we get to? It looks like we got to something. It got to, you gonna help me out? What did you get to? Fear and greed, 39? No, what is it here? Five, it got down to five. There it is. So we've only been lower than this once or twice, but at times when the price was just low, 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 and it was a great time to buy. So, you know, for the, um, for the investors, everything is screaming buy, buy, buy. Not to say it's definitely at the bottom, the indicators are screaming it's a great buy price because we're massively oversold. Even if it goes a little bit lower, the indicators are suggesting we're gonna flip around and go north. And we have one very, very, very cool indicator backing us up on that one. And that is the stochastic RSI on the daily. If you'll recall, I taught you about this. This is another oscillator um, indicator. And when it usually goes down to the bottom, turns around and when it comes back up into the purple, that is your kind of confirmation that we um, the trend is, a, is in reversal mode, right? It's a really early indicator. It does have some false positives for sure. Uh, we don't have to go back too far and we'll see we came back up, kissed the purple, came back down. That was a borderline false positive. Um, actually, here's a better one from the top. We came back into the purple, suggesting that we were going to flip momentum and the momentum was going to turn negative because when it's up here, it's telling us momentum is positive and it was a fake out, went back up. So this oscillator oscillates early, but it does have some more fake uh, false positives, okay? So um, this one has flipped up and says this is the end of the bear trend, uh, or the short-term bear trend, I should say, reversing back into some good green days ahead of us. And so there's just a lot of indicators saying good, good time to buy. So I'm really happy that I am in with, um, with this trade. Hopefully we don't get stopped out, turning back up to, uh, to, to go, going a little bit north while I've been talking. Let's go back and have a look at it before we check in with the uh, Bitcoin dominance because there's some good news there too. And let's, uh, let's put the indicators away. We'll max out the price here. And look, hopefully this is playing out exactly as you would expect. You can see we walked up, came back, walk, just walking the stairs up. We've walked up, we've walked the stairs down and this candle looking a lot better uh, and starting to head. It looks like we're heading back in the north. Let's see if we can leg it up hopefully in the order of you know, $40,000. Um, now here's what I'm gonna be doing for, with this trade. I really, I really wanna see it. I, I, I wanna be, have a big, big exposure in my trading account to Bitcoins right now. I've got you know, $400,000 worth of exposure to Bitcoin. I just picked up those 10 coins. And you know, if this is a bottom, and again, going back to that 30 day cycle, if we have a couple of weeks here of good prices, you know, we can get, we can climb up to this level of resistance at least at 42,000, but I think we can do way better than that. I wouldn't be surprised if we come up to, uh, it'd be interesting to see where the 200 day moving average is and the 21 week moving average, but that could be a pretty good uh, deal. If we could come all the way back up to the 21 week moving average, be at the high 40s, you know, that would be an outstanding trade. We'll, um, we'll see about that and you'll make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll let you know what I'm doing, if I'm taking profits along the way, if I'm raising my stop loss as I go up. Uh, I'm gonna let you know about all of that stuff right here in this channel. I've been really prolific with the videos lately. Um, pretty, pretty, I think I've done a, a video every single day at least for the last two weeks, something like that. So help me out, keep up the momentum, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that like button and let me know, are you in on this trade? Are you thinking, or if you, an, are, if you are an investor, is now a good time to be getting in? Are you accumulating right now? Let's check out the Bitcoin dominance now, then we'll hear from one of the best Bitcoin traders out there, ARK Invest, Kathy Wood. She's got some advice for us all. Let's, we'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about Bitcoin dominance. And for this, I wanna head back. Oh no, we can say it here on the hourly. So as you'll notice, I put this important yellow line here right at 46 and we came up, bounced off it, 
came back down, set a, a higher low, something we have not done in forever. This was a long, long, long trend of altcoin dominance, right? As we go back, you can see that we set a higher low. I made a video said, look out for it to go above the 46, giving us some hint of confirmation that we are, uh, this is a trend reversal and Bitcoin is going to outperform altcoins. That is what we've seen so far. That is what's reflected in this Bitcoin dominance chart. But now we've come down and come down and we are now sticking our head back down below 46 as we find ourselves at 45 and a half. Let's see, are we going to confirm with a higher low again and come back up and break through 46 uh, once and for all in this trend and then continue to head north. If that happens, I think you're going to see it's a really positive sign money flowing into Bitcoin from the altcoins. It means altcoins are going to get hurt or at least not hold up as well with Bitcoin if that happens. And if that happens, what you're going to see is a huge rush into Bitcoin because believe me, I have zero doubt there is an enormous amount of money waiting to get in. They just want confirmation that this bear trend is over. I think the vast majority of people do not believe that crypto summer is finished and we are now going into a multi-year crypto winter. The vast majority of people believe this is a correction in the middle of crypto summer and they are waiting to get back in. They just don't want to catch a falling knife. They want to see confirmation that the Bitcoin bear trend is over. And we've broken that important trend line. We held $30,000 at, at resistance. Uh, and the bears seem to, the, the, the bears were trying to pull us down below 30 and the bulls said, no, -uh, not today. Um, and so we're starting to see the trend of it. There's millions of different actors in this market and they've all got different benchmarks. What they use to confirm the trends are reversed. Uh, for some, it's the 200 day moving average when we go back above it. For some, it's the 21 week moving average. For some, it's breaking important trend lines. For some, it's the Bitcoin dominance. And as these dominoes start to fall, it becomes a cascade where more and more people jump in, jump in, jump in as they believe that the, the, the Bitcoin bear trend is over and we're now into getting back into crypto summer and they want to get in at those low prices and they want to ride the rest of crypto summer. So with that in mind, let's hear from ARK's Kathy Wood what she has to say about this exact topic. set the audio up properly and so I had to put this microphone near uh, near my speaker there so uh, but anyway uh, there you go heard it from uh, from Kathy Wood and uh, she's kind of yeah I mean we, we're in unison here that this uh, this is um, a capitulation and just the price has got smashed Bitcoin down 55% uh, altcoins kind of matching it I think is in a much shorter time frame and this like, I don't know if this is the bottom we, no, no one knows that but uh, it is a really good time to accumulate and 
if this mentality starts catching fire, as more and more evidence in the charts shows that the bulls are taking back over control, it becomes a self-fulfilling mechanism and starts to accelerate very, very quickly. So um, yeah, time to, to make some decisions. It's time to get in. You gotta decide that. Let me know in the comments below. Are you getting in yet? Or is there some other indicator that you're waiting to see? If it is, let me know in the comments below. What indicator are you waiting to see before you get in? All right, guys, smash up that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow, I've got an interview with Eric Voorhees. Um, so in the next few days, I'll be able to release that. Uh, and it's just going to be, it's going to be a, a really good one. For those of you who don't know, uh, Eric Voorhees is an absolute OG in the cryptocurrency space. He was into Bitcoin in 2011, I believe. Uh, and in 2013, his company was responsible for 50% of all transactions on the Bitcoin network. So he's an OG. I've been wanting to do an interview with him for uh, like eight years. Uh, I finally got one and it's about a new altcoin, which I think is going to 100x soon. So if you want to find out about that, make sure you subscribe. I'll be recording it tomorrow. You'll get that video probably sometime later in the week. Okay, guys, take care and I will see you later.